since Easter is just around the corner, it's time for another bunny ear tutorial. You're going to cut out your pattern and then do two pieces on Warbla and two pieces on EVA foam. Then glue these two pieces together using a nice layer of contact cement. Once that's fully dried, you're going to attach these pieces to your headband. I recommend a pretty thick headband using the extra tab that you cut out to wrap around the headband. Then using your heat gun, you're going to shape the ears into place. Once you've got your desired shape and you've given it plenty of time to cool in place, you're going to use the same pattern to cut out four pieces of fur. Make sure you're cutting out a little extra on the edges so you have enough fur to cover the edges of the ear. And I would also recommend using a white fur as it's easier to color later on. Once those are all glued down, you're then going to get to trimming. And this is where it starts to really look like a proper rabbit ear. If you have shears, I would definitely recommend using those, but you can use a pair of hair scissors instead. You want to start at the back, trimming it down to a very thin layer. On the inside, you're going to do a similar thing, except leaving a little tuft on the inner corners. And you can see that this will give it a more realistic bunny effect. You can also see I've left longer tufts at the bottom near the headband to help cover that headband. If you're doing any other animal, I would recommend looking up realistic animal ears to give you a better idea of where you should have these longer and shorter tufts. Once the length is to your liking, you can go ahead and airbrush your color in. I would recommend doing a solid color in the back and then kind of easing it out into the front into their smaller tufts. But then again, this is your project, so go rainbow! I don't care! Make sure though you also cover the headband so that it can properly blend into the hair. The final step is going to be adding some shading and highlighting using hair chalk and then an airbrush to go through on the really outside corner you want to highlight that area. And there you go, you have your perfect little custom bunny ears just in time for Easter. I really hope this tutorial helped and thank you so much for watching.